principle six. This is another one you'll spend the rest of your life working on. Relax the waist and straighten the spine. This is crucial for keeping the muscles of the waist and lower back relaxed and the body upright. Once the muscles of the waist tense up, movements cannot be agile and natural. Straightening the spine requires the spine to be upright and relaxed. I want to emphasize that he says agile, natural, and relaxed. Going into the standing frame, feet are parallel outside of the feet, toes slightly aimed inward, big toe. Raise your arms up. Bring your attention to your back. Sink your attention deeper to the spine. And for a moment, make your body really tense. Start by gripping the ground with your feet. Clench your fists, make your arms really tense. Clench your teeth. Tighten up your core, your chest, your shoulders, all the muscles, squeeze your buttock. Just, just make everything super duper tense. Keep breathing. And imagine your spine is a long cylinder. It's vertical and just push it backwards. Just push the spine backwards. Keep it vertical. Don't round it, right? So the spine is straight. And now pull the spine forward just a little bit. Don't make excessive movement. Keep it vertical, so don't, don't arch the back. <clears throat> One more time, send it backwards. And forwards. And then let go of all the tension. <clears throat> Keep about five or 10% of that tension. And gently move the spine backwards. Then move it forwards. It could, be, it could be hardly moving at all. We're talking less than a millimeter. It's just to get your awareness into that part of yourself. From the tailbone to the center of your head. How many vertebra can you distinguish from one another? And just let the spine be still, the body is still. Now imagine you can feel the weight of each vertebra, sense the space between each vertebra. Each vertebra capable of sensing gravity. This is the image of the spine as a hanging strand of pearls. And then shift the image. Imagine you have uh, each vertebra is a magnet. 
so it pr it repels the adjacent vertebra above. So in other words, you can stack your vertebra up and there's a feeling of there's space between the vertebra, but as opposed to stacking down, you're floating up. <clears throat> You can do this with any joints. Push the head up. Relax the shoulders and the elbows. <clears throat> the armpits are open. <clears throat> Excuse me. Armpits are open. My throat must be closed or it must be some allergies. Sink the wrists. in the back. Naturally sink the chest. Feel the energy flow up through the spine, up through the back, to the crown of your head. Feel the energy sink down from the crown of your head down the front. Feel it returns through the front of the spine. And then it comes back up and it goes down. Bring the chi up from the ground, through the back, through the waist, out through the armpits and out through the fingers. Imagine that, imagine that your spine is an open cylinder. It can bend any direction you need it to, but it's flexible, soft, natural, agile, open. Be mindful of using words like straight, words that may possibly create feeling of stagnant chi or tension. 